So, name that. Okay, Cam Guy, quit clowning around. No, really, you got to be able to name it. So, it's got two double bonds in it. What? Where do I go with this? You go here. If it's a multiple double bond, just look at it and go like this. How many longest continuous chain? Four. It's butte. Or, well, it's buta. Well, it's butte. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm doing here. All right. There's a butte, and then we've got enes. So, you know, there's a butte. Now, where are the enes? Well, there's two enes. There's an ene at the first carbon, then there's an ene at the third carbon, uh, going in either direction. So what would you call it? Butte. 1 comma 3 hyphen die because there's two enes. Now, if you put, see, you would never say but you would say butene, but you would never say but diene. So you put an A there because now that actually runs with, uh, a, a, a vowel runs with that consonant. And it's not two consonants butting into each other. And you could say buta 1 3 diene. <sighs> okay. So there's two enes, you see, and there's diene. Where are they located? At the one and the three on the buta. It makes sense. Now, what would you do with this one here? One, two, three, four, five. And here's a, oh, it's a triple bond. I know what that is. And there's a, whoa, oh, yeah. You can't do that to me, man. Yeah, I just did. And there's four bonds on every one of those carbons. Now, what the heck is that going to be called? All right, well, just break it down. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a pent. So, pent what? Well, there's an ene at the 2 and an ein at the 4. Or, there's an ein at the 1 and an ene at the 3. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's the way to go with that one. So what you're going to do is, it's going to be an ein at the 1 and an ene at the 3. It's a pent hyphen. Where's the ean? The ean goes first and the ein goes last because the triple bond takes precedence over the double. The double bond is at the one, two, three, so we're going to go a two. We're going to go the three ean and then, now look, so, okay, watch. Three ean and then we're going to go one ein. And can you see that? I don't put an E there because it's an, uh, a Y there kind of thing and that would be running two vowels together so that's no good and that's okay because that consonant right there runs into that vowel so that's nice there. So it would be pent 3 in one ein for that molecule right there. Okay, so that's not going to be asked very much. That's very true. But at least you've seen it once before. And that one though, double bond, dub, two double bonds. Those are ones that come up all the time on AP exams, on IB exams especially, and then on uh, uh, just your teacher's test too.